Hello, Kelly George here, um, doing my vlogs regarding my multiple sclerosis journey, um, diagnosis and treatment. Um, so I've just come out of a brain MRI with and um, without contrast. So I'm five and a half months post round two of Lemtrada, so my two years of Lemtrada done and dusted, five and a half months post, um, and I'm having my regular brain MRI scan. Um, I've got very used to having these now, because um, obviously had uh, a brain MRI done three years ago, diagnosis of multiple sclerosis, and then had a few since when I've had um, relapses, unfortunate relapses. Um, and and then I now have them regularly done every six to seven months um, in between my treatment of Lemtrada for multiple sclerosis. So I've just had it done. I'm in California. That's where uh, we. I, I am English, as you can hear. And if you look back on all my vlogs, you'll see the journey that me and my family did. Uh, I started off having a treatment done, actually, in England uh, and then moved here to California. All is well, though. I'm five and a half months post. So recently, my last vlog to you guys was I was outside my neurologist's office, again, in my car. Um, and I was experiencing a couple of symptoms, possibly a relapse, wasn't sure. Um, my neurologist um, gave me the peace of mind. He did not think it was severe enough to call it a relapse, but there was a couple of little warning signs there. So I did have a week of steroids, oral steroids. That cleared it up. So I was having, for 10 days, um, I was kind of experiencing waking up with a headache, which was a bit rubbish, and it put you in a bad mood for the rest of the day. Um, so I was waking up with headaches, um, I had a little bit of blurriness with my eyes and they were sore, my eyes just felt tired all the time and sore. There was a lot of fatigue as well, I was very tired anyway. Um, and off balance, um, off balance is also one of my uh, big signs to myself if I know that a relapse is coming or due. Um, so the steroids cleared that up and while I was in that appointment a couple of weeks ago, he said look, let's book your MRI in because you're due to have an MRI anyway because you are uh, five months post round two of Lemtrada. So he said, let's book you in for your MRI um, and then we can see what's really going on. So yeah, I've just had it done um, at the, what do they do, call it here in California? There we go, Imaging Healthcare Specialists. Um, really efficient, really, really good in there. I'm just so used to having these things done. Um, if you've never had if, or if you've been diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, and you probably have, um, but my, mine is always affected um, when I've had a relapse, my face and, and everything kind of from here up. So it's always the nerves and everything going on from my brain. Um, and that's when they can see if there's active lesions or if the lesions are reduced in size. That's why they're doing regular MRIs um, since my Lemtrada treatment. Anyway, um, so I'm quite used to having them done and then having it done here. But what I was going to say was if you've just had a recent diagnosis or you, you're unsure and you, you're pushing to have an MRI done, um, they, they don't hurt. Brain MRIs don't hurt. I can't comment on any other MRIs. Um, it's just, it's just a, it's an unusual situation to be in. You lie on this bed. They um, make sure your head is pretty secure. So they don't clamp it in, but you're pretty snug. You fit a gap. Uh, and they pad it out, um, and then you're led down, and then you move into um, the imaging machine, um, and it's very loud, so you get earplugs, um, you pop those in, and um, it's just lots of clanging, lots of banging, lots of odd noises. Uh, you sound like you're in a photocopy machine or a, a fax, that you are being faxed. It's quite a weird, weird noises. Um, but amazingly, so my toddler woke up at half past two this morning, crawled into our bed, so I was quite tired. And I said to him, I can't remember, am I, am I actually allowed to fall asleep during an MRI, if I can? Because they're normally about 40, 45 minutes. Um, and the guy doing it said, yeah, if you think you can with all the noises. Anyway, I did, I nodded off twice. So thanks to Joshy, thank you. <laughs> I nodded off twice. So it was probably like my easiest MRI I've had because I was so tired from last night. Uh, when it's with and without contrast, I think it shows up different things in different areas. I'm not quite sure. Um, you can have an allergic reaction to the contrast that they pump through uh, your veins um, and also, it's a bit of a weird sensation. So you have all these still images taken of your brain. Then they pull you out. You can't see. You're still not allowed to move. Your head is pretty secured. And there's also a big white plastic and metal thing that's gone over your head as well. Uh, a bit like Darth Vader, but Stormtrooper. 
basically. <laughs> well, I was going to say in white, so that's kind of Stormtrooper. Um, so you're already clamped in, and you give them your arm, and then they um, they put a needle in, and then put the, the contrast solution through. As I said, I don't really know what it is in proper doctor terms, I'm afraid. All I know it's called with or without contrast when you have an MRI done, and I have both. Um, so one is the still images, and then one was something else. I don't know. That shows up when you've got the contrast put in through. But um, yeah, you're giving your arm and you can't see, you can't move anything because everything is locked in. So it's a bit of a weird um, sensation. And so if you are claustrophobic, you've got to get over that. Um, but it is fantastic that we can really, really look deep into our brains and see what the devil is going on. So all I hope now for the results from this is that my neurologist calls me or his um, medical assistant uh, it gives me the lowdown. I'm hoping that there are no active lesions going on, which would be great because that would mean that it wasn't a relapse a couple of weeks ago and there were just some, you know, maybe tiredness or stress signs and when my muscle sclerosis plays up a little bit when I am overtired um, and things are emphasised, my symptoms are emphasised a bit more. So hopefully there's no active lesions going on in my brain, nothing due to go off like a firework. Um, and then what they also do, because I've had Lemtrada done, the treatment for muscle sclerosis, they look back on previous MRIs to see if your um, old previous lesions, if they've reduced in size. And then they actually know if Lemtrada is working forward as well as backward, if it's repairing the old as well as potentially stopping muscle sclerosis in its tracks, which is just incredible. What an amazing treatment. So I'm done and dusted. I'm very tired. I'm going to go get a coffee. Uh, I feel a little bit rubbish today, just uh, is the tiredness I think and the toddler waking up in the night and blah blah blah. Anyway, life goes on, five and a half months post round two of Lemtrada and I've just had my MRI so I will do a video when I get the results. Take care out there, bye!